I'm not a doctor. I don't even play one on YouTube. I'm coming to you to talk about something that I think is really important. Uh, it's probably the worst idea I've ever had. It's even worse than the hot tub idea. To come to you just as I am, to talk to you about something that I'm going through that you might be going through. If this whole idea of women and hormones is frightening to you and you need to scream and run away, scream and run away. I am not here to offend anybody or to make anybody feel uncomfortable. And I recognize that this probably is making people feel uncomfortable. And I'm really sorry that that's true, but there it is. This is going to be a long video. Buckle up, buttercup. I promise I'm not sick and I'm not naked. I am wearing clothing, but I wanted to come to you kind of as myself. For a change, normally I get all dressed up, I do my hair, I do all my stuff, and that's not necessarily who I am. I get it if you can't watch this video. I get it if this is way too much information and everything else, but this is the video that I need to make today. today. So, so just again, the disclaimer, I feel great and I'm not naked, but this is the shtick of this entertainment. I'm Yulia Graham, thank you so much for joining me, my scent brother, scent sister, I'm on binary sent siblings tell from the title and the thumbnail that this is about the change this is about what's happening to me perfume wise uh -huh. uh, because I've turned a certain age and I've come across a certain hormonal uh, block if you will in terms of what's going on with perfume and so this is better left to the experts, yeah? This kind of um, exploration of uh, the science behind why my fragrances are doing weird stuff and my nose is doing weird stuff at this time. And so you guys all know and love Claire Smith from the channel of the same name and so do I. And this is better left to her. I, uh, I'm not a doctor, like I said, and so what I did was I went on Google and I googleized what's going on with me and I'm going to bring it to you. So no harm, no foul if you click off all right now. But if this means something to you because you're going through something. See, now here's the thing. Claire can't even make this video for another 20 or 30 years because she's very young and this is not something that maybe is sort of in your periphery. Hey, Claire, to talk about menopause dun, dun, dun. Well, there I said it and what's going on in terms of uh, fragrance preferences and how we can use fragrance at this time like I said this video is not for everyone I turned 50 don't do it but I'm telling you that um Things are changing and uh, I'm coming to you with no makeup, no hair done, and I am wearing something. But like this is this is it, folks. Um, the society tells us that we should be terrified to age and that in fact we should never show that we are. And so um, <laughs> I'm upset about the fact that when I look back at videos just from one year ago, uh, I looked so different and doing this is killing me. But I'm doing it. I have lots of notes here today, so I'm going to read a lot of it. That's how it's going to be. Um, if you're new here, this is kind of what I do. I, uh, I just do what I need to do. So, uh, like I said, this is going to be TMI for most of you, but I'm going through a lot of changes hormonally and it's affecting pretty much everything in my life, uh, including my love of fragrance and, and, and how it reacts on my skin. And I know this is a concern that a lot of people in my age group, a lot of women in my age group are going through. We're like, why is my perfume not lasting? Why is this happening? And I'm going to talk to you about it through talking about a fragrance sample that I got from the beautiful and just all things lovely Kia from Yummy411. She sent me a few decants, thank you so much, and among them was uh, Invite Only, and this is what spawned this video. Invite Only by Kayali is a warm, spicy, amber fragrance that I've had different reactions to because I'm going through this weirdness. I've had different reactions to this from holding it up like it matters. It's a decant, so I'll put a picture of the bottle somewhere. I've had different reactions to this one at different times. 
the first time I sniffed it, again, remember my uh, hormones, sorry, are fluctuating uh, a lot during this time. And so this really affects how I perceive fragrances, but it also affects how they perform on me. So this is my benchmark of how I'm perceiving them differently. The first time I tried this, I sniffed it and I thought this is a lovely warm amber fragrance that is not unlike anything in my uh, wardrobe and it's not particularly speaking to me this day. And so what I do when I receive decants or I purchase samples, I put them, I have two piles. These I are my two, this seems like a lot and it is, it's, a, it's an embarrassment of riches my friend Richard says. When I get a decant, it goes in here until I can sniff it. And then I go through here regularly. Have you ever watched Joss uh, from Joss's Fragrance Mixology? I love you. I love Richard. I love you, Kia. She goes through and she picks one. I very often will just sit with this in front of me and sniff the samples. And that's how I got to this one because I put them in here first. So I got to this one and I sniffed it. If the fragrances uh, make me feel some kind of way they go in here and this is my wish list <laughs> you have yours written down I have mine in a big old plastic uh, glass box so this is this is these are the fragrances on my wish list oh help me it's 1111 make a wish so I have all of these fragrances and I I don't I I very rarely part with these because because I know because I know that what speaks to me one day isn't going to speak to me another day. And it's got to do with cycle. And we're going to get to that. This is going to be a long video. Buckle up, buttercup. Cali Invite Only has rose in it. And it has oud in it. And uh, those are the only two notes that I really sniff. Really Sweet amber and warm and spicy with tobacco and some other stuff. So it looks like the notes here are, uh, this is what my friend Veronica, name dropper, uh, would call a kitchen sink. It's got tobacco leaf sour cherry honey chocolate and hazelnut in the opening in the mid there is ceylon cinnamon may rose damask rose and citrus leaf and then in the base you get amber vanilla oud benzoin sandalwood uh, cypriol oil patchouli and musk lots going on in there all i get out of invite only is oud and rose and cinnamon that's what i get um and the first time i sniffed it i was like whatever. Then the second time, because I got through it, I got into it again. The second time was a few nights ago and I was like, what is this magic? <laughs> the cinnamon really reminds me of the cinnamon in Montel's Honey Oud, which I love. And so this took on a different nuance to me, but it has to do with the fact that my hormones are dictating what I like and what I don't like. So all of a sudden, Kayali Invite Only became something that I had to have and I've been wearing it every night consecutively and here's another thing I wore it the other night I spritzed on one spritz was madly in love with it and one spritz lasted me all night all night I woke up and could smell it in the morning the performance on it was absolutely amazing I couldn't speak to projection really but the longevity of it out of this world I put this on last night all I could smell was Oud Bouquet from Lancome. That's what this smelled like to me last night. And uh, it lasted two hours. <laughs> so I'm like, what is going on? So this is the gateway sort of fragrance. I still love this and I'm going to get a bigger bottle of it. But for right now, it kind of spawned this video of, are you feeling this way too? If you're of a certain age and you are of a certain um, gender, that your hormones are making you think that you're a little bit cuckoo. This lasted all night last night, uh, and now it's lasting for two hours. What is happening? Again, I'm not a doctor, and I don't even play one, but I read, you know, a little bit of learning is a dangerous thing, but I did read on Google, and I'll list the websites that I use down below, of course. I did read that our hormones affect just about everything, and because we're no longer in the childbearing years. Our sense of smell does change because we don't need it uh, as much because we're not here to procreate. I have a whole business planned around uh, what to do to help women understand that even if we're not in our childbearing 
years. We are still valuable members of society, so I hope you're with me on that one. Um, Basically, this is the Gateway one because this is the same fragrance, and I've had three different reactions to it based on my hormone levels. So my hormone levels and what's going on in there, specifically estrogen or estrogen, uh, really dictates what I smell, how I smell it, and because the changes in my body are happening and my skin is, uh, the pH balance is being thrown off uh, and also therefore losing elasticity, losing moisture, things last differently and they smell different on end to me. That's where I was going with this. And so your performance uh, of the fragrances, specifically the longevity. Um, I use perfume oils from Oil Perfumery. You can see them behind me. I'm not going to grab them. But if you're layering with an oil perfumery, that will help the longevity. So I can put it in my body wash. I can put it in my lotion. And I can put it on my body. And then I can use uh, it diluted in alcohol as a spray to cause sillage. Or I can do what I normally do. Uh, which is to buy the oil perfumery as a tester and then to buy the original fragrance and that kind of layering really helps. Okay, have I talked for long enough? Are you super bored? Are you tired of looking at me? I'm really, this is who I am. I found a website that's talking about different uh, reactions that our body can have during this time in the fragrances, the fragrance notes specifically that uh, are helpful. So that's what we're going to do for the rest of this video is that we're just going to recap the fact that at a certain age, our hormones completely change because our ovaries are no longer producing estrogen. And this causes a whole shift in all of what we're made of. It causes a lot of physical manifestations. It causes uh, some barriers. Some women have it really, really bad. Some women don't notice it very much, but the changes are chemical and they're real. They're physical and they affect everything from your sleep patterns to your weight patterns to your fragrance preferences and performance. The title of this particular article that I am getting my information from is called Want to look 12 pounds lighter and five years younger than menopause proof your perfume. Listen, I did all this research so you wouldn't have to. I am going to tell you what the article basically is about and then I'm going to tell you which fragrances I have in my wardrobe that have the notes spoken about. To sum this up, this is an article written by Claire Coleman for the Daily Mail uh, in 2018. And Claire Coleman reveals a selection of scents for a new phase of life. So, so here are her suggestions. The first one is pepper helps you lose pounds. So she says, if you want to seem to shed, seem to shed, hey, you're not losing nothing. You're not fooling anybody. If you want to seem to shed the middle aged spread, uh, add a spicy note like pepper to your perfume. Researchers at the Smell and Taste Treatment and Research Foundation in Chicago discovered a combination of floral and spicy notes led to men thinking that a woman weighed on average four pounds lighter. Better still, men who liked the floral and spicy perfume thought the woman was around 12 pounds lighter. She lists some suggestions, but I'm going to tell you about mine. The first one is Cristal Noir, Pepper, which has a, uh, in the top notes. I'll tell you that to me, this is a soapy, peppery fragrance that uh, has a coconut note in it because this is the EDT Versace Cristal Noir. Um, and I don't know when to wear this, but I haven't decluttered it. It's really spicy. It's really speaking to me right now, actually. It's spicy and clean. It's some people call it gothic. Uh, it's a fresh yet jasmine centric fragrance. It's kind of a juxtaposition in a bottle, but there it is. It has a prominent note of pepper in it, which is going to make me feel a little bit lighter, supposedly. What's another one? Annie also has pink pepper. You know that Annie to me is that vanilla and cardamom, spicy, beautiful. I have a, um, a video dedicated to it. So that's Annie by Nishan. This should 
help me lose pounds. Oh gosh, I could really use that right now. And then we have Bois Doré. Thank you to Sunny from Sunny Sense Name Dropper. This also has a peppery note and oh, a mineral note. And to me, this is just a very, very special fragrance for many, many reasons. Uh, what else? Dylan Turquoise also has... Did I not grab the Dylan Turquoise either? I thought I grabbed them all. Huh? Dylan Turquoise also has a pepper note that tickles my nose. I have a video dedicated to this one. This is an aquatic, fresh, spicy summer fragrance for me that I love. The next category that Claire Coleman is saying that if you are going through this change with me, that uh, this next category is grapefruit to turn back to snap out of it. Yeah, uh, the researchers said that they don't know why, but they found that a grapefruit fragrance made men think that women were five years younger. Who knew? The note of grapefruit is one that I super enjoy. Um, very recently, I started to enjoy pink grapefruit. And so my fragrances that have pink grapefruit in them are obviously um, Mansara Pink Prestigium. That's all I get in here is a realistic pink grapefruit juice, which my friend Melissa, name dropper, does not get. She gets a very synthetic pink grapefruit and I get pink grapefruit from the carton uh, and rose and woods in this one. And I just got this recently and I really, really like it. I don't enjoy rose for the most part. We're, we'll, we'll get to rose in a minute. So there you go. If you are uh, looking to turn back time, a little bit of grapefruit, there's pink prestigium and uh Franck Boclet Vanille has a note of grapefruit in it as well and uh when you're looking for it you can find it right this is a wonderful fragrance that I was turned on to uh when Chris from the Perfume Nest name dropper sent me a decant of this and um this is a very very beautiful signature fragrance if you wish that has it's very vanilla and citric forward delish. Again, these aren't reviews. I'm just telling you that these are the ones that fit these categories. Grapefruit to turn back time. The last two are the uh, funkiest packagings in my collection. This is FC UK Night Woman. And this has a note of grapefruit. It, I love this. I adore this. I love this more and more every time I wear it, which is quite often these days. Thank you to Nat for this. The only thing that I would say is FC UK, French Connection UK, what the frick is up with this thing? I can barely spray it. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It's woody with citrus. I mean, to me, it smells like compost, but what are you going to do? I adore this fragrance and I put quite a dent in it very recently. And then another fragrance with wacky packaging, but a beautiful grapefruit note to help me turn back time is Moschino Cheap and Chic. I love love. Oh, that's so nice. It's a little bit spicy. It's citrus and fresh. And I got this for 20 bucks at Shoppers. So there you go. Fresh and light. Doesn't last long. This one lasts quite a while, but this one doesn't last very long. But gosh, it's beautiful. And you really get that grapefruit. And yeah. The next category, Claire Coleman. Claire's. Hey, I guess the name Claire has, has some affinity to science. I don't know rose to beat hot flashes floral scents most commonly based on rose or jasmine maybe good maybe a good option for menopausal women because warmer skin as a result of hot flashes can cause the top notes of a perfume to evaporate more quickly leaving just the heavier notes behind making a fragrance smell different we were talking about our fragrances smell different Perfumes based on florals, which tend to be lighter fragrances, I don't know who's rating this, uh, are more likely to stay true to their scent. So for Rose, I have my beloved Delina, a signature scent if there ever was one. In here you have Rose, Lychee, and Rhubarb, vanilla, incense, and some citrus. Uh, this is not a review, but this is just to say that this is going to heat beat the hot flashes. I only wear this in the high heat. Isn't that funny? I, d I never wear this at any other time. Delina, absolutely stunning, beautiful, pricey, but the performance and the fragrance on this, like I said, I'm not a rose person, but I, uh, in the summer, this is my going out 
during the day fragrance. Oh, I love it so, so much. And the pack, everything about this, everything. This is beautiful. And my newest love of my life. And I have to thank Veronica from Veronica Says for helping me get this to Canada. This is a whole video all in and of itself, but this is Gris Dior from Dior. And uh, this is quite possibly the nicest thing I've ever smelled. Again, Chris from the Perfume Nest. Name dropper, name dropper, name dropper. Introduced me to this and I have never gone back. This is a gorgeous rose, clean, fresh. There's, to me, a hint of leather in here. It's a beautiful, uplifting fragrance that I think could be signature worthy. I think this would work at all times. And I have a whole review coming out about this one, but there it is, Rose Note. And another recent acquisition is, this is Angel Nova from Mugler. I have two Mugler fragrances and I don't, particularly love them but I had to get this one because Maria Colette made me buy it. Uh, this one has great performance and the lasting power is insane on this one and I love that inner fragrance but this has rose and lychee which I love. So there you go those are my rose fragrances to help with hot flashes. Just a couple more to go. Here's uh, lavender is supposed to help you relax. Lavender contains natural anesthetic contains a natural anesthetic Aesthetic. And that's why it has its reputation for being relaxing. And uh, I only have one fragrance that features the lavender note because I'm not a fan of lavender. I do have an oil perfumery of Feb Delicieuse, which features a lavender note, which I cannot find. I also have a decant of Feb Delicieuse sent to me by the beautiful Eve from Perfumes to Eve on Instagram. Feb Delicieuse is something that I love sometimes and don't love other times. And I think that, uh, again, this is that hormonal roller coaster that I'm on. And so uh, I don't have that out with me, but that does have a lavender note. And that's the note in it that I don't enjoy. I don't enjoy a lavender note. I guess I like being strung out and don't want to be calmed down. Don't tell me to calm down. Oh my gosh. Anyway, uh, Andreas, you can tell me to calm down anytime you want because I love you. But please, I hope you're not watching this because you're never going to go through this. I'm good for you. The other fragrance that I have that has lavender in it that I don't smell the lavender is my beloved Lyra. I've spoken about this a million times. I'm not going to go into any detail, but Lyra does contain a lavender note that I don't perceive. But this is one of my all-time favorite fragrances. You can say what you want about the performance. I just augment the longevity of this one with my oil perfumery oil, and I am... A happy, happy camper. I love this fragrance so, so much. Caramelly, sweet, citrus, deliciousness. Yum. With lavender, apparently. It's funny, though. This one featured very prominently in my sense that I go to when I need comfort. So there it is. The last category is lemon and lime to cheer you up. Citrus scents have been known to have a significant amount of research about them uh, because they are very prolific. There are a lot of citrus scents, especially in the summer when we're looking for something refreshing. So my citrus scents, you know, Frank Boclet Vanille has a uh, lemony note to it. You're in. This is a very special bottle to me. This was sent to me by my friend Richard Keycott from Richard Keycott is having a scent memory name dropper. And this has a very, this is a very citric forward fragrance. And this has a gorgeous lime peel oh my gosh this is one of my all-time favorite high 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 heat fragrances gosh that's gorgeous it's a little bit spicy oh delina just fell and then in dylan turquoise we have where did i put dylan turquoise i lost it oh then dylan turquoise again has a lemon note as does as does the I love love. So these are my fragrances. These are my menopause fragrances. <laughs> I didn't mean to offend anybody. I didn't mean to frighten anybody. I meant to talk about a serious, um, I mean, I just wanted to talk about something that's going on with me and it might be going on with you and you might need to know that you're not alone. You might need to know that it's your uh, skin 
pH and your hormone levels that are causing your beloved perfumes to smell differently, to perform differently, and to make you feel differently. And that's what I'm here for. I'm just here to share my fragrances that have these particular notes in them that Claire Coleman has done the research for. Like, if I just wanted to bring it to you to let you know that you're not alone. You have me, your scent sister, and I am so happy to have you, my scent sister, scent brother, or my non-binary scent sibling.